Hey guys, Oz here, and we're back for episode two of Spreadsheets in Space, the show where I demonstrate how to create certain common scenarios in the EVE Online Excel add-in. Today, we're gonna to be talking about skill points, skill cues, and skill checks. If you like the content that I do and you wanna support it, then you can use the creator code Oz in the EVE Online store, or you can become a patron at patreon.com slash OzEve. Enjoy the show. All right, so again, as last week, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, with a character list just to pull in the characters that I'm logged in. In this case, I'm logged in with two characters. These are the two characters. And the first thing I wanna show you is I want to show you how to get the total skill points. So again, you have to do a little workaround, which is good though, because that way you can learn how to work with the various uh, objects in here. So if I want to get this character's total uh, skill points, then what I do is I use one of the character formulas right here, and I'm going to use the character skills. If I put in the character skills formula here, and I'm going to, it's going to use the last logged in character, but I'm going to specify to that character name. What it's going to do is it's going to show me all of the skills of that character that I just selected. Okay, so this doesn't help me very much. So this, it's just a list of skills. If I go here, I can also add, if I click on this little uh, thing, just like last week, I can add skill points in skill, for example, and I can also say trained in skill. And that way we're gonna add, you know, the skill points in there and the skill level of that skill, thermodynamics in this case. If I drag this down, that also works. It's going to do that for everything. But if I just want to say sum up all of the skill points for that character, there's an easy way to do that. and what I can do is I can just say uh, for this formula right here, Eve Online dot character skills for that character, I can do a dot skill points in skill. All right. Now that sound that sounds rather random, but all it is 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 this pullout that that sets skill points and skill. I'm just with a dot. I'm just adding it to this formula right here, and so I'm pulling it immediately. Now, the problem that I'm still having here is that I'm still showing now the skill points in all of the skills, but not summed up. So in order to sum them up, what I have to do is I have to sum up this entire array. And that is, I just add a sum here in the formula. Sum, open parentheses and close parentheses. And boom, we have got the total skill points for that character. Uh, I can turn that into a number now and take the decimals away and then it looks nice and then we know the total uh, i could do the same by pulling that down for this character and you can see that this character has 87 million sp and this character has 14 million sp and now we can call this total sp and then we move on to the next problem so next i want to show you how to figure out what the latest skill is that a character is training. If you wanna make sure that the character is training one overall, or you, if you just wanna have a, a overview of what all your characters are training currently. Again, there's, a, uh, there's another formula that we can use and that is character skill queue. This is still in the character section. You go to character skill queue and you say, try it out, okay? That way I get the entire um, skill queue of that character currently, okay? Now, if I just want the latest one, then what I have to do is out, out of this list, I have to grab just the latest entry. So essentially, if you think of this as a table, I want just the first cell, so row one and column one. And one way of doing that is to use the index formula. So I'll show you right here. If you do index, open parentheses, have that formula again, and then you do comma one comma one, and that's because you want row one and um, and column one. Then it's going to give you the latest, um, the only the latest the entry in that uh, queue, and so that's that character right there. Um, if I then make sure that this again references to the right character in H five then I can do the same for this character. And you can see that it updates right here. 
where this character is training capacitor systems operations. So uh, current skill in training. Okay, so now we have a nice little dashboard that says total SP and current skill in training. So the next thing is a little bit more complicated because what I want to show you now is how do I check the current skill level of various characters. And the reason you want to do that sometimes is let's say you have not just two characters, but you have 10 or 15 characters, some of them alpha, maybe some of them omega, and you want to know, okay, who is my best PI character or who are characters that are trained in PI or who, are, who is trained in mining, who's trained in industry, who can fly certain ship types. So sometimes you just want to check or maybe you want to build your own dashboard that that checks various skills all the time, right? Just customized for your needs. And so we're going to start uh, with one thing, and that is character skills again. We know that this, uh, this formula character skills returns all of the skills that this character has. So if I fix that to this character again, then we're going to get all the skills of that character. Now, if I want this for a specific skill, then what I can do is after the character reference here, I can put comma, and then I can put the name of the skill in quotes, right? And then it's going to return all of the skills for that character that have mining in it. If you want the exact thing that I put in quotes, like mining specifically, not mining and mining frigate, then what you can do is you can put a comma one after it, and then it's going to be the uh, exact match, okay, not a not a fuzzy match. So here, uh, it's now returning mining. But what we want is not the skill, we want the skill level, right? So if I pull in the trained skill level here with this button, you can see that in order to get the trained skill level, what you can do is you can do this dot trained skill level. And so if I take this trained skill level, right here, I'm copying the that part of the formula. Uh, and I'm putting dot so this just puts that exact same, same thing dot trained skill level, then it's going to pull in the trained skill level. Now that is still not very helpful. Because now it just has uh, this mining in the formula. And if I wanted to change for different skills, then I would have to change the formula all the time, right? So let's do a more elegant way. Let's put the name of the skill in here. And in here, instead of referring to mining, we're going to uh, actually refer to the cell right here, and it's going to have the same exact effect, right? Now, if we want to make sure that this works, when we drag it down, then we have to put a dollar sign up here in front of the four. And that's how we fix the row for mining so that if I drag this down, then it's not going to reference the cell below, but it's going to stick to the mining cell right here. And so you can see that for mining, this character has level th five for um, uh, and this character has level three. Now, if we want th this is now dynamic, right? If I put uh, drones in here, then it's going to do the same thing. It, apparently, they have the same skills. If I put industry in here, you can see that this changes five and one. If I put something like I don't know, marketing in here, it's going to do four and two. So this is now a dynamic sheet which is uh, great, right? And we could replicate this for more skills to the right, right here, if we wanted to. Uh, we could also add the, um, the number of skill points here. Uh, but let me show you a more uh, a, a dynamic way. For example, let's put in here, uh, drones, right? And if I take this, and then copy it over here, that is not going to work because it's going to be referencing the wrong uh, character here. Um, let's say here, I'm going to fix this. So it refers to the right character, and it's going to pull in that it's going to pull in that. And so now you can see, you could um, build a whole nice little character sheet here that has different um, information about your skill points, you could look at the skill queue either entirely, or you can just look at the last one. And you can even check against uh, some, uh, some skills that you want to keep tabs on, or you want to compare um, characters over.
you can make this very long and in the end i mean you can even do some nice little conditional formatting here right where you can see hey where where does where does uh where are the the hotspots here that doesn't seem to be mar working my my dark um mode has been acting up but um you guys know uh, uh know what i mean here happy to do a a formatting episode as well uh, sometime in the future all right um that's uh, it about skill points so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and um leave in the comments uh, some more examples that you want me to show or some more scenari scenarios that you want me to uh, solve all right i'll see you on the next episode bye guys